Okay, so we're going to do the camphor lab now, and uh, the first thing I need to do is to weigh out one gram of borneol, and I've already teared this weighing paper on here. Okay, so we have 1.034 grams there, so please make a note of that. So the next thing I need to do is to um, put in, I can, I can actually do this in either order, I can put in the borneol. And then I'm going to, so I've got everything off there. And then I have four milliliters of ethyl acetate already measured out. So I'm going to put that in. And then I started stirring to dissolve it. So next we need to weigh out 2.4 grams of oxone, which is a form of um, potassium hydrogen peroxy sulfate. Sorry, monoprosulfate. Slightly too much there. This is denser than the Borneol because it's an inorganic salt, which typically these tend to be a little heavier than organics. And I'm using a slight excess compensate for the fact that we um, have a slight excess of the borneol. So we have 2.427 grams of the oxone. So now we need to weigh out 0 0.08 grams of the sodium chloride which acts as a catalyst in the reaction. It reacts with the oxone to form a um, sodium hypochlorite uh, since it's a catalyst I'm not going to worry I've got 0 0.094 grams there that'll do fine okay so now we're adding the oxone into here with stirring. Put everything off there. Then the sodium chloride. And then quickly afterwards, want to add the water and you could zoom in to show that we have a two phase mixture there. The aqueous layer will be on the bottom here, it contains 
the inorganics, which is sodium chloride and the oxone. The upper layer will contain the borneol and the ethyl acetate, but there is some mixing of the layers of ethyl acetate. It's a fairly cold organic solvent. So we should get some um, reaction starting immediately. And now we need to wait for 50 minutes for the reaction to complete. Uh, before, well, to go almost to completion, then we add a little more sodium chloride to help drive it. So see you in 50 minutes. Okay, so we're now 50 minutes later, and I'm going to add another uh, 30 milligrams. It's actually 39 milligrams, 0 0.039 grams of sodium chloride. Okay, and now we wait another few minutes until uh, we work up the reaction.